Welcome to Mini Bricks. Today we are going to be looking at the uh, Spring Easter uh, catalog for Lego 2024. Um, yeah, this is going to be a first look, and so I'm just going to um, just kind of get right into this. Um, uh, yeah, so we're just going to show you the logo and then we're going to start looking through this. So the first thing I noticed is over 45 new sets. So that'll be interesting to see. We got a little bit of everything here. Yeah, so what is this? The Lego store, lego.com and probably the customer service number. They are very good at customer service. I have contacted them uh, once before and they were very, very helpful. So this is the nice, uh, I noticed there's a, a purple edge on this. So very Easter kind of colors there. Um, yeah, that's kind of nice. So it helps for opening that up. We got, we got, I think this is dreams. And yeah, they're even using the bunny for the Easter theme in dreams. And then we got the rabbit. Yeah, we got a little bit of everything here. So let's let's open this up and see what we got. So we have kind of some of the same same sets on the front. So I like how I like how we got the peacock here and how you know how awesome the peacock is, but then you open it up and it's kind of transitions well. I'm just going to turn on another light here so we can see as best as we can. So yeah, we got that nice new uh, Kingfisher. Um, that's a beautiful set. Does it say how much it is? Yeah, $69.99 Kingfisher bird. So it is an 18 plus. So it's one of those ones that definitely needs some skill to build. I'm sure there's people younger than that that could probably figure it out but um yeah so on this page the one set that i am definitely going to want to try to get is is this the tiny plants um this this is one that i'm i was meaning to even pick up in february but yeah i'll try to get this one put together and picked up for you it's 69.99 and yeah i I just would like to have these for putting around the house. You probably, you might even, you might even see them, you know, they're displayed um, kind of on my setup there. You probably see them over here. I'll probably get them for a while and set them up there. Now, I would like to see someone get a, you know, a girlfriend or a wife some of these. This would probably be very nice to receive. I have seen the box. It's a really nice box. And, um, I haven't, you know, seen how it's, the flowers are put together, but it does look very intricate. Now this opens up. So let's see what we got. Let's see what, how does this, what is, what have we got going on over here? So we got, yeah, what am I seeing? We're seeing Lego creators. I guess that would be page three. And then maybe the page, uh, kind of like a little bit of a page layout. Easter treats. Um, I, I do like this set. This I'm just kind of stuck on the pictures. I'm sure there's some valuable things to be reading here. So I'll maybe scroll down for those that want to go through those. So yeah, definitely these Lego icons and ideas. So... For me, we got a lot of the good stuff kind of at the back, but I'm sure there's some people that are looking forward to some of these other ones. Like, uh, yeah, Minecraft and Disney. I know that Disney had has the new Snow White, so that I, I picked that one up. So, yeah, so let's just, um, let's just kind of mosey on through. Um, you might want to contact Lego about getting your own if you want these to come 
I think that's kind of quarterly. I, I remember my other one just kind of came not too long ago, so that's probably within the last three months. So I, I'm, I'm definitely going to be stopping on some of these a little more than than others. Um, I'll just put that back. So, I mean, I would love to have all of these sets. Nothing against any of these sets. I would love to have all of them and build all of them for all of you guys. But it does cost quite a bit of money. So you do have to look at like price and say, you know, for $25, would I like to build this? I actually would and I think some of the parts in this would be really nice to have and it also has the three builds I always like the three builds and but I also look at the parts that the set comes with so some of the sets come with some more kind of desirable parts and definitely if a set has um, brown or some green foliage. I, I always like to pick that up for a castle. So even this has a little bit of foliage in it. And I just like how they've transport and transformed this from a watering can to a boot. And then you got some nice cute little birds. So you can definitely get some, some enjoyment out of it. Um, this white bunny is also a three in one. You got, I'd probably keep it in the, in the bird form. Um, and then the carrots kind of kind of nice too. <laughs> All right, free shipping on orders over thirty five. So yeah, that's always nice. We thank Lego for doing that. It makes it really easy to to um, go through the catalog and to make make you know it makes it gives people that don't have a Lego store close to them. Um, it kind of gives them the same ability to. Uh, get the same type of sets. So there's some exclusive sets to Lego that you can also get a, get online. Um, as so, going back to the Lego Wild Safari animals. So I might actually pick this one up because I I love the parts that are in the set, but I also love the tree, and I mean the the giraffe is is epic. He's he he could definitely hang out in my room. And uh, on one of my shelves, um, you don't get this tree. This is just a nice graphical um, thing that they've added. It is a nice graphic, but no, you only get the the tree, this elongated tree, and then this guy's kind of cool too. The so let's see if they tell us what you all get. But anyways, you get the lion. So I'd probably I'd probably start off with with um, building, well, the giraffe, and then I'd probably go with this one because I'd probably end up on the on the lion for a while. I'd probably keep that one set up for quite a while. So what else do we got here? We got a nice astronaut. He's kind of cool. Definitely if you're collecting some of the NASA stuff, um, he'd be kind of cool to, to showcase alongside of that. I've seen some pictures for some of these sets so they're not looking too new to me, but I guess this one's been out for a while. It is kind of retro. I'd like to get, see, in my, in my world, I'd love to just have endless money and, and I'd get two of these to go side by side of each other and really set it up nice. I think that would be cool. And I'm, yeah, I wonder, nice pink tires. I'm sure you could make some nice, a pretty cool like car out of that. And it kind of does have like, yeah, it's just amazing that they can build a roller skate out of Lego. So I'm kind of interested also in the shoelaces, how they, just the building techniques in that. Um, what do we have here? Just underwater creatures. I know a lot of, uh, this is, I guess, a new set. And yeah, I've never seen this set before. So got a cool little turtle. He is a little scary with that, with that pincher. And you got almost like a Dora or you got like a yeah Finding Nemo type theme, so you got almost got like a little crab like Ariel, and yeah, it just kind of has like that under the water underwater vibe there. So you got another little underwater, some different little setups. So yeah, if you bought if you bought three of these, you could definitely have like a whole little under the water type theme going on. 
So we got a hot dog truck. That'd be kind of fun to turn into an Oscar Wiener. Get some stickers or something. Maybe someone will make that. So this looks like some of the Friends line. I'm sure if you do want to, you know, just drool over some of these sets, you can you can just push pause and I'll try to just have like some frames here that you can pause. Again, like I'm not big into the Friends, but I would pick up this set if I had had the $84.99 to do so. Uh, I would love to have a little stage that I could set up some of my my minifigs and just kind of like it comes with the drums and everything so that would be kind of fun just to even make like a little stage for you guys so going up here we got yeah this is the friends line they got a whoa they're going they're going on the road they got the little crew and they're going on the road now is this the same that's the same little rocker girl that they got going on in here i wonder what I'm not real familiar with the names. I guess she's probably a character that they got going. So she has the same little outfit. No, she has a little different bit. She has purple legs on this one. So, and in the other one, she has a different guitar. So you can kind of do so. See, the collector in me wants to like collect the guitars, put a little um, backstage thing, you know, build up a little backstage thing for her. So yeah, definitely dreaming of a, a bunch of stuff um, yeah you could definitely even incorporate a lot of this into the city it all it would all go real nice into the city and then you got a little I'm just quickly seeing like a little nature thing so what is it called a hamster playground so cute little hamsters and you got the little balls that's kind of fun I suspect those balls would probably roll down the slide pretty easy I don't know if those balls can go in the tubes, but yeah, very, it reminds me of like a hamster cage. You can play with that. Oh, wow, what do we got? What do we got going here? We got bringing stories to life. So very, very spring. Um, we've seen, we've seen the, the nice, um, kind of like a Malibu mansion type vibe, like kind of a California vibe. Got the sports car. Nice. I love the windows on that. Um, this here's a set that, uh, or actually, I should probably show you this one first. The little dog. He's cute. But yeah, this this little Jeep unit is something I might actually pick up. Um, I just kind of want to get the build instructions, get that little tent. Um, I love the little starry night in the background. But yeah, it's forty dollars. I still might, I still might pick this up. I'm gonna have to see what my budget's like. But I, you know, some of the colors aren't really my style. Not that I don't mind. Like for the, for the setup for the set, it's nice. But for me, I would I would like to kind of customize this uh, Jeep. Just kind of switch out some of the parts, and maybe make maybe a, a nice red Jeep or. Maybe maybe there's some nice white pieces, so maybe a nice white Jeep would be nice. Um, make make a, it's not a branded Jeep set, but it's definitely very similar to a Jeep. We got the Heart Lake City Hospital Ambulance. So yeah, this is, I haven't seen an ambulance like that on the road, but definitely in Heartland, you would, you would definitely have some nice coloring. You got some the graphics and everything, so I wonder what I wonder who's hurt. I guess the skateboarder. Yeah, he got bonked on the head, so he's needing to get checked up. And yeah, you definitely want to put out the caution sign, make sure that everybody's safe. And so yeah, he'll he'll get better now. Um, we've already kind of looked at this, so kind of going through the friends line here. Enjoy fun with friends. Got all these nice sets. I should probably maybe stop and just say how awesome some of these are. Um, especially if you like, is this a goat? Are they giving them a goat? Or is that a puppy? I think that's a puppy. Hmm. That's a puppy. Is that a goat? I think maybe it's a goat. Anyways, got all the little x-ray machine. 
got the little mouse with the carrots. We've seen the carrots in quite a few sets. We've got bunnies. we got more carrots. Lots and lots of friend figures. Now this is one that I would I would actually like to pick up if I had the money. Seems like good value for $69.99. You get a whole little farm. I can see hours of fun with this. You got even the tractor. I actually like the red tractor. I would I'd probably try to mock like a little green John Deere tractor. That'd be fun, but the red just kind of pops. It's nice to have a little red tractor for some reason. You got the nice grill piece, the nice yellow um, and black. So yeah, definitely could could probably mock uh, like a John Deere or something with those tractor wheels. Um, although you know pieces like the molded trailer would probably have to stay red. Um, yeah, what else do I'm, I'm seeing? Just like, yeah, I'd probably like to even get two of these sets to put them together and make like a little bit bigger, but one, one is good. You can definitely get a lot of fun out of just one, one set. You got the windmill, you got everything. So, and then you got a little guy here. So yeah, I don't know what this set is missing. You got a Kool-Aid stand, you got, I think goat, but yeah, definitely now do you got you probably got some horses in some other sets so yeah if you were to get sets like this you'd get a little cow and you could maybe get a few of these like two of these sets to add to the bigger farm and now this is also a very nice what seems to be what are they calling this a heartbreak city shopping mall so we got we got a nice tree up here, I'm seeing. Yeah, I'd probably snatch the tree. I haven't seen I haven't seen these pieces. I'm sure that they've come out in green before. I haven't noticed them, I guess. Um Yeah, everything like uh, ice cream. Yeah, we definitely I, I didn't realize how to build ice cream until I was picking some uh some parts and came across that ice cream part that cone part and was like what is this <laughs> and kind of figured it out so that's the ice cream now we're getting into some dreams i think some ignite the power of dreams so we got which which one will you build so they got quite a few different ones going on here we got I think there's a TV show Dreams and maybe some of these are these uh, builds are from are from the show. This is a new theme I guess Lego is going with trying to make uh, their own kind of um, yeah their own kind of theme their own brand make lots of possibilities for creating your own stories with this it's kind of there's a lot of monsters i don't know if i like the monsters but i guess you need bad guys in most stories i mean they're kind of scary i i i'm i don't like the scary figs and i don't like too much of the the magic stuff but you know definitely some i know one thing i noticed about the dreams uh, line is you get a lot of parts in in different colors so there is some things like the blue leaves here you know i don't know if those comes in other sets but definitely in dreams you get some some wild uh, colors for different parts now this is i don't know if this would count as part of the space i know this year this year 2024 they're coming out with lots of space stuff uh, this is probably part of that line Oh yeah, here we go, space. So yeah, almost every age group gets a little bit of space. Now this is, uh, I'm guessing this is Duplo, right? I don't, I don't see the Duplo, but it, it, it appears to be Duplo. Um, yeah, you get a little astronauts, so that's fun. Um, I wonder if the, I wonder if the helmets come off. And you can, I don't know, I've never really um, tried to change out the heads and stuff and see what you can do with the little minifigs, but that might be something to um, do. I I always like the little farm sets. I kind of explained that with uh, Friends Farms. 
I, I just, there's something fun about a farm. I, it would be nice if they built more farms for, for the city line. And because I know everyone loves the animals. We got the Disney train. I'm sure a lot of people will be picking that up. I don't, I don't know if that was maybe part of the 100 years of Disney, I think. Probably, I don't know when that set came out, Mickey and Minnie's birthday train. But yeah, definitely would like to pick up, like if I had a birthday, one of my little, little uh, people I know, they might, uh, would, they might like uh, this for their birthday. So lots of, you got numbers to count, you got celebration, and now we got some princesses. Yeah, this would be the Duplo, so I guess we were right there. I knew they were Duplo pieces, but I didn't see the Duplo logo but it's up there on the top we got some cars and some frozen so some this is what you call branded uh lego so they're teaming up with another brand so those are some characters now flipping the page now i want to go over here but i'm kind of pulled back to this 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 is something i'm definitely going to get because yes i've already got it I was there March 1st picking this up, and so we'll have to build this. I'm going to try to get some of that uh, glare out of there, but we will go into depth on this in one of my videos. We got it all boxed up still, so we got tree parts. We got, as I'm calling this, the goat herder cottage, because I'm going to be mocking this into the goat herder cottage. Um, that's going to be my what I'm going to do with it, but definitely I think a lot of people will be just keeping this this wonderful build set up as the Disney um, Disney What are we calling it Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs? So I'm gonna some people might want to pause that and read it. So Yeah, celebrate with passion for a classic Disney movie Yep, the Snow White. So it is it is quite expensive. It's exclusive to the Lego, um, probably the Lego store. Probably won't, f probably won't find this at Walmart, but it has the play features, it opens up. So I know some of these sets, they are kind of exclusive. They sell out quite a way, quite soon, because a lot of people, yeah, even a lot of investors like to get a hold of these and put them away, because they know that, I know, they just know that these sets are going to hold their worth and that people are always going to want to reenact the Snow White and Seven Dwarfs. I, I did see that when I was a child. I think it may have been a re-release in the 80s of Snow White, maybe the 90s. And it came back into theaters. I got to see that with my family. And it was it was a good movie. It's Of course, there's a few scary parts at the end. Or, yeah, kind of a, yeah, a scary lady in there. She's she's not so nice, but we 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 know that uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs they they make it through. So here's some more Disney princesses. I think these are Disney princesses, right? Disney Princess Market Adventure. So lots of little princesses, and it is $129.99. So kind of a bigger purchase item, probably more for like a a, a big birthday present. And we got Stitch. Now, Stitch is one of those ones that people love. Um, is this the little mini Stitch? No, this is the bigger, bigger Stitch. And it's new. I haven't seen this one before. But I have seen this at the... I know March 1st they were... They were I saw some of these little Brickhead Stitches. Um, and I know that they sell, sell out really quick. So if you can... If you want one, you want to get it soon. Because they... It's a very, uh, Stitch is just one of those characters that people in Lego, Lego fans love Stitch. So, something you want to look at. Got Ariel, a mini Disney. So this is really small. It looks like it's just a miniature and it has like a fifty-four ninety-nine price tag. So yeah, it just kind of, it looks, it looks huge. I'm, I'm thinking it's, it's massive, but no, it's probably just really tiny. You can see like... The figure kind of comparison so yeah some of these parts I, I can see that this is this is going to be really small but 
for those aerial fans and they're gonna they're gonna like it they're gonna probably yeah you know, be able to imagine a lot of uh, fun things I mean, see I was gonna say this is like the big bigger version but no this is this is a scaled down Disney castle so again it's a mis mini Disney castle and you, I don't know I don't know enough about the figure if he's kind of exclusive or what have you to this you know there's been a few quite a few Disney things coming out this last little while and then we got a little a new little yeah, you know, photo frame, a little box, so lots that you can make use of and keep set up on a on a counter. Okay, we're going to make new friends. Wow. This is I, I'm this is lots of cute little people. I'm really liking this just this uh yeah, you know, this uh I guess it's a theme or a brand. I'm trying to find what it's called. Benny's Outdoor Adventures act or Activities. Yeah, he looks like he's having fun in the outdoors. But this is, uh, I like this, these little characters. These are cute. And yes, I would, I would like to get all of them, get them all lined up. And I don't know what, I wish I would know more about this, but this is just a first look at this. So. I haven't done any research or anything on any of these sets. Got another cute little uh, little characters here. Lots of um, lots of fun things here. I'm sure people will love to add all of these little sets together. So they're, they're they are. I mean, you get a lot. But it is like a hundred dollars, but you do get kind of the two houses and some of these other little guys. I haven't seen those little guys in the other in the other ones. So we'll now this is what this is this is I was looking for this. This is what it's called. Animal Crossing. So that that's the that's what this theme's called. And this is so these are all the little Little characters. Now we're getting into the Minecraft. So I'm sure a lot of people will be kind of just pausing on some of these. So lots and I wonder if there's new Minecraft. This looks to be all existing sets. So lots of existing enemies, and we got. I know I know that Minecraft has been out for quite a while and people love to collect it and love to add it all together into their own little Minecraft world. I've seen some pretty amazing Minecrafts at some of the exhibits that I've seen online. Some people have amazing uh, Minecraft uh, setups. I think there's been there's a few that have like every set and they've put it all together so it's fun to collect this is getting into the Mario stuff so I don't know if these scale scale the same probably so you can kind of add this all together Super Mario and you got all the you can kind of play it like video games in real life I can just hear the theme music I'm not going to add it but I wonder if I would get uh, censored if I sang it. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Okay, on to Harry Potter. I'm pretty sure this is all Harry Potter. Let's just slip over here. Yep, this is the Harry Potter. So they got the middle staples. So if you want to quickly go to the Harry Potter, you just go straight to the middle. We're on page 26. So I like this chest. It's a cool build. You got uh, nice. Eye, I like the eye pieces. Lots of nice parts, and I know I love the owls. I would love like to get those owls. But lots of Harry Potter fans out there that are probably going to want me to to do this uh, justice. So we'll just maybe do a little bit of slow, 
slow pausing on this you got the nice forest yeah again I don't like the scary fix so it's not for me a little bit you know scary and some wizardry so not really my my uh, type of Lego but there's there is a big fan base for this so lots of people loving the Harry Potter so I'll just you got the brickheads Got all the characters. You got the car. This is new. And we're. I know I've seen this set. I've seen that. It probably came out maybe March 1st, I would imagine, because I probably got this a, f a few days a little bit later. So. Yeah, and it's now February or March. March 10th. We're getting into the. Gabby's Dollhouse, so this is almost like a friend's line, but kind of something fun like Animal Crossing. Almost like a My Little Kitty. Um, very similar to like something like that. So you got, you got a little kitty character and you got it's not Nemo Cat, but I do see lots of rainbows and cats, so we got no we got little spider-man over here this is the spidey amazing friends it's a marvel set for kids so um yeah we got some i'm seeing like iron man he's still a minifig you know this this is expensive um but i suspect a lot of people i wonder if this is exclusive to this set i know there's people that collect spideys and and then you got uh the girl spider spider man up there in the the helicopter what is what is her name ghost spider you got a little guy there so i know that they had an iron man set that had these these legs the hulkbuster so not as detailed as the bigger sets but but still very playable and makes it easy for the little people to the 4 plus to get into the lego and it makes it easy for the, so they don't have all those little parts. They can still have all the fun. Still, still a lot of parts. Still a lot of little parts, but not as many. So you got, you know, you got another. You got some more characters here, probably exclusive. I would imagine most of them are exclusive to their sets. Um, this is a set that I'll probably want to pick up for the minifig. I don't know how well I haven't really built a lot of these uh, mechs. I've seen a lot of them, even at Costco and and at the Lego store. I haven't picked them up, but I think this is one that I might pick up. I'm kind of needing to save my money after some large Lego purchases, so I'm not going to be buying a lot of Lego in the next, you know, probably this spring lineup. I'm not, but I did already buy. Um, yeah, the, 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 the Snow White, and then the, probably one that's going to be in here, the Medieval Town Square, so we'll see that probably, probably later on in this, it did come out March 1st, so this is the Marvels, the new Marvel stuff, and I'm sure that, you know, people are going to, you know, there's something probably exclusive about, about this Spider-Man and people will get this set just to collect the minifigs. And they do kind of hold their their price. You know, I definitely want to encourage people to play with their Lego. Um, and if you if you are into investing, well then, then enjoy that. But I like to play with my Lego. Now, I also like this, this four-wheeler. It comes in red. It's uh, this would probably be a city set. Now the fire, the fire is Lego pieces. It they did a pretty good job with the with the glare glare effect over top of the fire. It makes kind of I had to stop and see if that was a graphic or not. But you can make with those little fire pieces. They've done a good job of making this guy's uh, campground catch on fire, which is. Which is not funny, so it's a good thing that these uh, guys were ready to roll. And we got the fire station here. 
Okay, what do we, we notice? This is just a very modern fire station. That's what I'm noticing. We got a drone. I think we got some type of fire cannon or water cannon. And we got number two, number one. So that's cool. Someday I'd like to make a really, really nice fire department. That would take a lot of work. A lot of uh, design and such. I think they did an excellent job. They always kind of come up with something a little different. Nice fire truck. So, uh, yeah, I wonder how that fire truck fits. You know, if it has enough base plate to, like, fit it all in there. Maybe in maybe in number two, it maybe the fire truck can fit in number two. That would be fun to see a review on that. Um, it, it does seem pretty reasonable for $100 for all of these parts. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have the money to get to get uh, any of these city sets. I'm kind of uh, spending my budget on the castle stuff right now, um, and it would be. Lo I w I wish my Lego table was bigger. That would be. That would give me chance to build a Lego city. So here we are getting into the. The space, all the new space stuff that's, again, I think it's been out for a while. It doesn't seem to be showing up here as new, but definitely seen it in stores. So it's probably been out for maybe a few months. And this is one that I haven't seen a lot of is the 4 Plus set. But you still get the same figure, the same figures, and it has a cute little spaceship. Now this one's kind of upgraded. It's a little bit, looks it looks a little bit faster. I don't know if... If people want to race them, but this this does definitely looks a little faster. Got some more rockets on there, but uh, this one's probably maybe a little more maneuverable. Um, we got a little buggy here. We got the Explore rover. We got some alien life. Now, do they all have alien life in each of them? Yeah, you do. Uh, you do get one of the little guys in that one. Now, this one maybe there's a capsule or something that you get at least one little alien. I don't. It doesn't look like you get any because it doesn't you can't see anything in picture but you get those two little guys back there so now this this mech yeah I I, I am debating whether I want to get this full line because I would love to get it I just don't seem to have the money to get it to get all this space Lego but they definitely um, hit it out of the park with the space Lego this time it reminisces you know, old space themes like Space Police and, you know, when they actually had like their own line of space. So they de definitely did a good job of space, but we're now, we're now out of space and we're into, I don't know if this is Speed Champions, but we got some go-karts and we got some racers here, some nice color schemes. So I, I guess this guy maybe even goes on here, kind of a team and they're just kind of racing each other. Got a nice boat. So does this one actually float? It doesn't look like it has a float symbol on it, but it definitely is is a nice little cabin cruiser. Out for the day, probably a plastic sail. It doesn't look to be cloth. It looks like maybe it's a plastic or something. Gonna have to watch a review to see what parts they use there. Now the burger shark. Now that's kind of I would love to see someone with like a big rig and set up a a proper burgers on fire <laughs> and it's only $25 you get a full little but of course yes the burger build that is awesome you got cheese you got a, a, a toasted bun yeah I, I don't know what she's chasing maybe maybe she's like you forgot the ketchup Okay, um, on to the, now these are getting into some of the, I think this would probably be a, see, I, I would think that was an 18 plus, but that's a 9, 9 plus McLaren racer. Very, very nice uh, for people that like to do the modeling. Now this is a new one. I was at the Lego store on March 1st. I wasn't noticing the, this section in the store, but I'm sure that a lot of people came down to the store just for this set it looks awesome the Ford Mustang dark horse sports car now yeah I don't get into I haven't got into these because once I got into collecting these I'd want to collect all of them and go back and collect more 
but some of these are probably going to end up on my shelf because look how awesome they are, how, how awesome they're doing the detailing. I mean, this 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 is like this almost looks like a superhero car. It's so well detailed, and I could see Batman in this one for sure if the colors were set up. We got um, trying to get some of that glare out of there. The Ferrari. 812 so BMW color scheme so I don't know these these cars like in real life but it looks like they they probably scaled them to the actual cars I suspect there's a race team that has these almost identical and someone that kind of reviews more of the cars could probably give more um, good good advice on it. So this is the BMW Motorsports. So this is their racing team. I do love the bike. I'd hope to. I'm hoping to get one of the BMW uh, motorcycles, like the set that they had out, and then also get it in real life. But obviously, that's like a lot of money. Going to have to save up a lot of money for that, and maybe yeah push pause on some Lego sets but we don't want to do that we want to keep keep building so Lego comes first and the sport bikes are, are quite dangerous so this is a little dozer got a heavy duty bulldozer and then we got this new set I have seen some people um, reviewing this I think a lot of people really like this car it's for $35 you get a really really nice model and I'm sure it has lots of, um, yeah, a lot of um, playability. Like, I'm sure that it, the wheels work real good, probably real fast. I ha I know people like to put these on the ramps and test them out. I don't know what kind of speeds or comparisons they have with each other. Or if that's really the goal of these, these models. Probably more to look similar to the actual sets. Now this is the planet Earth Moon in Orbit, and this is part of the space um, release this year. It I haven't, I think it came out a little like maybe came to market a little later than the, some of the space sets, so it didn't really get in some of the reviews I watched. I haven't seen an actual work at this working, or it does seem to have some. You know, you can move the handle and and rotate it around the sun. I haven't actually seen that in, in working order. Um, that, that's something I should probably go find a video on. Or maybe... Maybe... Um, yeah, see what LEGO has on their website. Maybe they have a... Sometimes they have like a two minute movie that they can just... Maybe they'll show the play feature on there. Now this is this goes with those space sets a few page back. They, it's all part of the same uh, same line. All the now this one doesn't have the little guys. So yeah, this would be the Technic, I guess. This is more moving up to the Technic. Still kind of colored the same as the the other ones. So. Probably maybe a little bit. Yeah, this is probably I'm just gonna go back. This is probably scaled a little different than The other space sets because they do have this on a different page. It is new So Yeah, I don't know if the minifigs will fit in this one how that works And it's odd that I don't see any little minifigs on there. So I'll have to review that a little more do a little more research on that. Now this looks like we're getting to the Ninjango, Ninjango, so yeah, yeah, I was going to say I haven't seen this before, so, and sure enough, that's new. Now I don't know the, I don't know Ninjango very well, I have a few sets, I do have a, I do have a little team of, of ninjas, we got Cole and all the other guys, I don't know them real well I'm, I'm I apologize but yeah it looks like they got lots of new nice new sets this uh, for the spring so yeah lots of things to 
kind of check out if maybe something catches your eye you might want to you know check out lego.com they probably have some nice pictures that you can you can see all the parts and everything so i didn't even know that uh, ninjago ninjango had the four plus so they got a few little sets for people um okay we're getting close to the end now experiencing more be lego insider so yeah definitely want to collect those points i know i love getting you know my little gifts and give the gift that always fits with lego gift cards so we got a little you know we got our little bunnies so exclusive little cards i guess for easter and treat the grandkids or yourself so lots of fine detailing there so that's the customer care center i don't know that it would uh, work to scan that off the screen but yeah you can go to lego.com probably got all of the probably all are very important to read all that stuff and here we go and the theme music's playing in my head Star Wars and this is probably one of the sets that I will be getting in in um, May I think May 1st is when I don't think you want to you don't want to wait till May 4th you probably want to get this May 1st or actually this set's already out this set is already out but yeah, for Star Wars exclusives, if you are going to try to get some Star Wars stuff in May, you probably want to start May 1st. That's what I'm planning to do. Pick this up May 1st. But hopefully there will be some left because this is this is flying off the shelf. It's it's an amazing little build. Someday I hope to get the the big one. Build that for you guys, but probably get to see me build um, this particular one and this one I, I really like R2 and for the price uh, it also comes with a minifigure um, kind of nice little minifig so this is one that I'll probably pick up May 1st now I saw a lot of people on March 1st having this in their hands going up to the counter so it'd be nice to put a few of these together. I didn't see anyone with multiples, but yeah, if I got got this, I'd probably want to put a few of them together to make like a little ship. I've got a lot of stormtroopers, and you can put on a little scene there. So yeah, I know a lot of people are going to be getting all of these little mini builds, all of these little ships. Um, I'm probably just going to get the Millennium Falcon. Now, I, I don't know what people's thoughts are on this um, for army building. Um, you do get kind of a commander and some clones, some droids, some super droids. So, you know, we got clone stock, shock troopers, three clone troopers, three super battle droids, and uh, two battle droids, so... Yeah, I think there was something about new mold or something for those. And, woo. So we've seen this train for a while. But, and it's really cool. Um, I guess some people have been able to motorize it. So I don't know how they do that. But I do like trains. And they, it looks like they've done a, an amazing job on this one. I think it... I think someone actually built this one and then they kind of switched it up a little bit. I don't know. Is this a... Oh no, this is the Orient Express. This is... Yeah, we got some of the scenes you can play in that. So Orient Express. Yeah, and Ideas. It says Ideas there, so... Number 52. I didn't know that they were being numbered, but... We got the new family tree. So I guess I have seen some of these new sets. I definitely seen this one. You I you can put pictures and stuff in the in the tree. I would like to get this just for castle build. It is a hundred dollars though. So it's a pretty expensive upgrade for your 
castle for a hundred dollars just for a nice tree although it is a nice tree so it might it might end up in my castle build and I've seen people get this as well I get, I don't know how they got maybe it was some of the some of the brand uh, ambassadors that got got this set and I've seen seen them have this put together about a month ago so yeah I've seen this set looks like it just probably came out I'm guessing March 1st so it's probably on shelf and online now a little British red London telephone box oh probably probably should zoom in on some of that detailing that they got on the inside and that'll be getting almost down to the end of the book so thanks again for staying to the end um, I'll, I'll we'll be there probably in a minute or so got another page or two so this is starting to get reviewed now people are starting to get this in your in their hands very nice it's a uh, 18 plus so this is a little bigger than that McLaren one and the one we've been that I've been waiting for I could probably push pause on my own video and just and just drool over this thing so I'm gonna try to build this in the next week or two and do lots of reviews and such on this so stay tuned for that but this is uh, this is the set this is the one that I stood in line for got there early we got our little yeah so many things the tax collector he's he's really really nice the little purple guy up there in the front with the bag um, obviously the wolf pack guy the little gray goats but I just like everything that they've done with this set given us a little Lego's been able to put together a little village for us so lots, a lot of us castle fans will really appreciate just have adding to our little villages because you can only have so many castles you need you need the villagers <laughs> to go along with it now this we, I saw the the designers a video with the designers and the functionality of these wings and everything and with the movie just kind of coming out I think March 1st um, yeah this is just kind of feels like the time to maybe go to the movie and pick up the set and build it and yeah just kind of relive some of the scenes now you do get a lot of little minifigs too I wonder if you could add those to your space uh, could build up a little space army with those yeah those definitely look like if you had your little space world you could definitely add those in so I am planning to start a space channel probably in about a year and I might actually try to find the 215 for that but that is a lot of money probably worth it the amount of um, detailing and uh, just uh, how hard this set is to build it looks like kind of like one of those epic sets that are for the real fan that you know is willing to spend the extra money for a dune set now is this branded dune i yes it is branded dune so yeah they they do uh, lego does have to pay licensing fees so that's why some of these sets get to be a little bit extra money um you you have to incorporate the, the exclusiveness of some of these figs like you'll never see this guy in another set I don't think I don't think part usage I don't really know what they got going on there but yeah this is very exclusive to this set so lots of uh, yeah it just kind of hangs on to the value because you got such exclusiveness of each of the figs so that is well we got we got a little more on the back here and another set is this one a new one yeah this one's a new one so that's another harry potter set and i guess this is where i say thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one bye